All right, listen, this is insane. That's why they're the insane clown posse, but they were due here at 7.30. They just showed up. What happened to them? I'm tempted to kill this whole bit, but uh, a couple of bands came down. To, they, they wanted to meet insane clown posse and yell at them, and I, that's always funny. So. Sure. Bring in the guys. This is Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope. They're uh, my favorite guests. They've gotten guests. so big now, they don't even come on time. I know. we got to talk to them about they were that. They Woodstock. They've been on the WCW. Well, let me ask them that. Touring with Limp Biscuit. I only have a few minutes. Hey, guys. I love these two guys. They're my among my favorite guests, the Insane Clown Posse. Absolutely. Posture. But I don't know. Are you guys getting so big now? You're getting so much success that you're taking the show for granted and showing up two hours late. No, they, we didn't hear we were two hours late. What? I, uh, are we just uh, waking we up or do we? two hours late. I think what happened is Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope overslept. No. What happened? What do you mean? It's no, merely you can't. speculation. <laughs> are you are you just getting up or did you? Did you just smoke weed? We No, we left. You know we don't smoke weed. I didn't know that. Yeah, we got too much energy to smoke weed. Yeah. Really? Pills are out there. Pills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Couple of Vicodins <laughs> and I'm pills. fine. By the way, I took pills last night. I've been having this cold and I haven't been able to sleep. I got on sleeping pills. I'm do I'm sleeping like a baby. I took seven Tylenol that, PMs last night. And I seven Tylenol right. PMs. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Well, you take like oh, five we're big time addicted to, to, to PM pills. Like. You know, I, I took some Tylenol PM that put me right to sleep. They're great. Well, if you take them, but they dry them, you, put you to sleep. But they dry you out. Yeah. And they make your legs kick. And, yeah, yeah, they do all types of stuff too. I'm on something called uh, Ambien. Let me get some. Well, I only have ten, and I'm not giving them up. No. <laughs> you can spare like a one I'll buy them off you. <laughs> hey, well, no, well, sir, the real deal. Uh. It's our but we, I don't know how we got late. They don't even sound like insane clown posse. I know, what yeah. What's going on? That's because I got a cold. I got a super bad cold. Me too. And I took two Vicodins this morning because <laughs> my back hurts because I'm a professional wrestler. Yeah, what's going on? You guys are wrestling there? We're yeah. in WCW. We're part of the Deadpool with Raven and Vampiro. You can watch us every Monday night on TNT. First of all, how you guys doing? All we're right. Good. Yeah. I saw you the you first night. Yeah. yeah. I just don't understand why you were late. You were I'm booked sorry, for seven thirty. You overslept. Be honest. No, I didn't. We, the bus got here, and then we we were waiting for our limo, and our limo was here for some reason. Right. So we had to call the limo, say, "Come get us at the hotel. We don't need to just <laughs> go and get in one side of the car and come out the other." You know. <laughs> yeah. It was like, why don't you drive us to the damn radio station? You right. Know? Right. Right. There's no cabs. Well, you, got, uh, you can't take care. They, they won't pick us up. They won't pick you up. Yeah, they, uh, they just go right past. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, would nah. you stop for them? Shaggy, too dope. Why did you shave your head? You had such a great head of well, hair. Well, it was the uh, chemotherapy for my syphilis. That yeah. yeah. No, come on, be honest. Why did you shave your head? Well, uh, <laughs> there was clippers in one hand, and, and do you remember when I had the panic off. attack? Remember I when I went crazy? Better. Yeah. You remember, Robin? I yeah. had. To, I, I I cut my hair off when I when I lost my mind. So he felt he, he felt, felt bad, bad for me. Only so I he shaved his off. How is was your gonna... career going? I understand your album debuted at uh, I don't know a very it high was number. Very high up. There. It debuted at number four. Then it dropped immensely. <laughs> <laughs> Precipitously. <laughs> I was excited that you debuted at number four. But you know why? It's because the juggalos out there, our fans. They, they they don't wait. They get it the week it comes out. You right, know what I mean? Right. They they don't wait. Oh, I'll pick it up when I get the chance. And they don't listen to the new single and decide if they want it. We don't get no radio play. You know what I mean? Right. So we your don't get fans, no MTV. The first week to go out and buy your new album. Did you I, sell a lot of albums? Oh yeah, it's already platinum. The record's platinum. <laughs> really? Yeah. What but is that? Like a million albums? Million albums. Wow. I have a major, gigantic announcement to make. Go ahead. Uh, an enormous, huge announcement. I'm really sick still, but, but I have to I'm make in it the anyway. same boat, man. Go ahead. Uh, that's fresh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that was super fresh. Go ahead. We have been asked to join Limp Biscuit, Filter, DMX, DMX, and somebody else. Somebody else for the Family Values Tour 1999. Well, that's sponsored terrific. Sponsored by MTV. Well, that's great, because maybe you'll finally get on MTV. No, hold on. on. The announcement ain't over yet. <laughs> the announcement ain't over yet. Please return to the drum roll again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a... So this is part two of the announcement. Oh, this yeah. is part two. That was part one. Three part weeks two. later... This is exciting. Three weeks later... <laughs> three weeks later... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Three weeks later. MTV told the Family Values Tour that if ICP is part of the tour, they'll have nothing to do with it, and they won't sponsor it. Oh, oh. And Rolling
Rolling Stone and Spin Magazine said if M- if ICP is part of the tour, they won't cover it. So what? now we have been booted it? off the tour. You are you not part of the I just read no. that you were on. Oh, wait a second. Hold it a second. Uh, Hold it a second. Hold it a second. Now I'm pissed. Wait a minute. What is it about you? What did you guys do? MTV Why? Don't, they hate us. The news department loves us because, you know, we always like go to jail and all that. Right. And because, you know, but MTV. They're, they're Why scary. would MTV they're be scary. against they're you guys? Scary. Why would they care? <clears throat> because our music is violent. They blame Columbia and I, whatever that was called. Columbine. Columbine. Columbine High. I thought they were know. blaming me for Columbine. Hey, they blamed us both. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So, you know, they threw us off the tour. So now I'm like, if you think that was bad, what happened in Denver? You know what I mean? Right. You don't want to piss the St. Clown Posse off. Oh, you're taking credit for all these. Because our fans are soldiers, <laughs> juggalos. We're a dangerous group of people. Right. And I'll send my juggalos into MTV with flamethrowers. Really? I'm through yeah. being Mr. Nice Guy. Really? I remember the first time I came on your show, Howard, I was asking you to put in a good word for us to right. MTV. Right. Now I want to slap them. I'll slap every well, programmer there. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset to hear this. I really am. They threw us I off the tour. They... Now they're interfering with our business. That ain't what the MTV tour. It's the Family Values tour. I now they're coming into our business. We're changing for you. You got asked to Woodstock. Yes. You debuted that really high on the billboard. Yeah. How was Woodstock? It Woodstock. was incredible. It was the I, best I'll thing I'll tell ever. you what. It was fresh. I'm right. so happy that Woodstock you loved us to play. Yeah, it that, was... that was like the biggest, what's the word, like the flatter. It was flattering, you know, uh-huh. for them to consider us a part of mainstream music. They're like, these guys sell a million mm-hmm. records. Why not? They're, they're, people like them, let's have my Woodstock. Of course, they had us like on the third stage or something. But right, that's okay. <laughs> they had us on a scrub stage. Right, right. You. Still, right. Like, you know, was, At least you were on there. Amazing. Let me ask you this. So, a couple, as soon as we announced you guys are coming in here, two bands contacted us. They want to yell at you. They say they're better than you. And I got a lot of security guys here, so they can't get near you. Well, I, we figured there was a reason why we got first got there. One yeah, right, 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 right. All right, here, the first band. You guys want to talk to these guys? You're never afraid to talk to other bands, are you? Uh, I, <laughs> <clears throat> talk to them. Do me a favor. Let me hear what they have to out. say. All right. The first one is Cold Chambers Chamber Music. Now, Howard. What, yeah, what, do you know these guys? Cold Chamber? Oh, Cold, Cold Chamber. Yeah. You know how they know them? How do they know them? We were on tour with them. Oh, you're on tour with them? No, oh, we they, were, they, yeah. threw them, they threw these guys. Well, there's, there's a big argument. These guys got thrown off of ICP's tour. Oh, I see. And there's all sorts of rumors. I'm not sure what the truth is. Right, what is the truth? Why did these guys get thrown off? The uh, truth of the deal is they got thrown off the tour because we were paying them a lot of money. Right. And nobody was coming to see them. <laughs> is that true, guys? Wow. No. Uh, well, how can you tell if no one's coming to see them? Yeah. Hold on. First of all, you know how you could I could tell, tell that because they, can... they were selling about five shirts a night. Right. And when we threw them off the tour, all right, it was still advertised that they were there. Right. And my brother took close tabs because we weren't sure if we made a good movie, or, good move or not. When we threw them off the tour, for a total of fifteen tickets were refunded. Wow. What happened in Atlanta, L.A., Dallas? The shows got canceled because we did Woodstock. What happened in Pittsburgh? Atlanta. <laughs> what happened? Atlanta. What happened in LA? It got canceled because we did Woodstock. Same thing with Atlanta. Dallas. What about Atlanta, Pittsburgh? Six hundred tickets were returned. What about Pittsburgh? So you guys, you guys don't like Insane Clown Posse now? Are you at war no, with them? No, oh, you're okay with them. Hold on a because, minute. Oh, you, why, oh, you came down to find out why you were canceled. There was a hundred different reasons we were told. Gary, get rid of that uh, microphone. Uh, it yeah, doesn't work. Yeah, we can't even hear these guys. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. From what I've All been right, they told, they wanted to know why they were thrown yeah, off the tour. From what I've been told. 15 tickets total got returned. I'm going to tell you something. Right. We we wanted Cold Chamber because they are big and they do got a lot of fans. Right. But one thing I know, and now I know this, is that when you put ICP on a bill with anybody else, nobody, nobody, people hate ICP so much right. that even Cold Chamber's fans aren't going to come out because they don't want to, they, it's just icy. So you're yeah, saying that it's hard exists. for you to be matched with any band. Right. I'm not saying the that they're only exists. worth 15 tickets. I'm saying. Right, exactly. The Hulk is this. It's nothing personal with yeah. them. You know, the good guys, all that. Right. It's a business thing. You know, when it comes to making money, you know, say the whole bottom line to everything is, is making whether money. Or you know you could, whether or not your it's fans will come, yeah. I say. So, so is that a, a reasonable answer? Yeah, we had like 10 different reasons why we right. were thrown we off. Right, we just wanted to. Well, what did you hear you, the reasons you were thrown off? 
production differences. Uh, no, that's the excuse. Uh, here's what Could I it be that you guys are too good and then ICP was jealous? No, we had Pyro. They said that was the reason, mm -hmm. this and that. We thought the tour was a, a good package for the fans. They, right. They it were was. loving the whole, the fans, every time they came up to us after the show. That, that's they the whole the, reason why the we booked show it was awesome. Play. So now I understand so, why you guys then, came down. You've Check always been confused about why you got thrown off. in the morning, we got thrown off the tour. So we were just wondering why, because the fans loved it. We loved it. They loved it. They got thrown off the tour. You guys got thrown off the tour because we were paying you guys a lot of money because they're a big name band, right? Right. But if we if we never toured with a big name band, we've never done anything. All we've ever done is All our right, own so it tours. didn't work out. So we brought a big name band to tour. Nobody was coming to see them. You know right. what I'm saying? No, we can not, tell by the merchandise you guys were doing, and we then when we threw you guys items off, to sell anyway. Huh? Had I mean, you guys had like eight million items to sell like compared to like fucking R eight. Well, that's because we're the bomb. We bring a lot of stuff to sell. Because <laughs> we weren't allowed to bring. We weren't allowed. That was Come on, who made that? Who said that? That's the, all these reasons we hear. You yeah. know what I mean. Who said you guys yeah, should make a lot of stuff? Business before you came on there. That's and, all and our call. We would have never restricted you. Well, you know what? You. The, the so contract says business. a certain amount. You know That's a contract that you have to pay us a certain amount. You gotta. We have to have uh, sound checks. We have to do this and that. You can't just break off a contract. So it was a very upsetting tour for you. Yeah, yeah see, the room, the room I heard, Howard, was... Mm. Um, that you know, first they uh, ICP started paying them less, and then started cutting their rehearsals. <laughs> they, I see. they couldn't use pyrotechnics, and that's right. that's what these guys are saying. I see. It was just disappointing. Right, so the whole thing was very ugly. The, it was. No, I, the, it it was lasted ugly. two yeah, shows. Like, two shows. And then there was nobody coming to see them. See, if they toured alone or with another band, they would have a lot of people. They'd have a million people there. Right. But people hate ICP so much that I think Cold Chambers fans were like, "I ain't even going." All I mean, right. We, we have a lot of fans that love you guys, though. So from we have a day one because we wanted to do this tour a long time, ago. brother. To the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, fifteen tickets were returned. That's all I. And, and my brother, who's my tour manager, does his best to report. Can you everything. just cancel a band like that, though? I mean, don't they uh, have a contract? Uh, yeah, isn't there, there some contract. contractual well, contract. agreement? Contracts work to your whoever writes the contract works to your benefit. Right. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, listen, guys. I'm sorry it didn't work out, but at least you got to uh, talk to ICP and now find you out what feel went wrong. You know what happened? I mean, yeah. on our okay. part, there ain't no mm -hmm. there ain't no beef or static nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just the needed shirt. to know because coming from them to us, rather than going through all these other right. people. Right. Good. Good. Then I'm glad you came down here today that was a we smart were in move town. they were in town all right cool, cool. All, all right, right. that's a uh, cold chamber and their uh, album uh, chamber music thank you thanks dudes listen to the best of my knowledge that's good you got that out i love how there's the really businessmen you got yeah. like, you got like all the security here for this i thought you're gonna like bring in like i don't know i never i never know if people are gonna yell at you hey, i never uh, know what's gonna guys, happen spring of security these guys <laughs> now listen let me can i say another thing before yeah. listen these guys cold chamber they rocked the crowd the people loved them but it's like you pay a band for what they're worth as what far as a draw. In, yes, okay. Yes. And they weren't All drawing right. nobody. All right. All right. Here's so another band people. that wanted to come down and see you. This is called Slipknot. Their new album is Living La Vida Loca. Now this, oh, these, no. are the, these are the guys oh, we need a security for. Huh? Oh, these guys. All right. Slipknot, Living La Vida Loca? L La Vida Loco. Oh, La Vida Loca. Um, these guys might be crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh okay. My God. Now, okay, I've seen these guys. Yeah, yeah. Hey, First guys, of all, thanks for making us wait for fucking ever. Oh, no. Don't say the F word. Don't say the F word. I like guys, to be concerned listen. that contributing to my age factor, I'm going to have a beard and a cane by the time I walk out of this place. Hey, what's up? You're the king, man. We love you. Thank you. Now, First guys, all, you we love you, and you're the king, and I brought presents. Thank you. And you're how many guys are in? How many guys are in the band? boy won't let me bring no. my stuff. What's up? How many guys are in the band? There's nine guys in the band. All right, so there are nine guys, and you guys wear clown masks? No, there's no clown masks. It's one, it's one clown mask. <laughs> one real clown right here, bud. All right, okay, you guys. guys if, you have a, if you have eyes, you'll notice that there's one clown mask. Mask in the band. All right, one clown mask in the band. All okay, right, so guys. Do you know these guys, ICP? Do you, have you, do you guys know these? I'm getting nervous. Do you guys know these <laughs> Let's guys? Do Never heard of What's them. up, guys? Right, right. Uh, hey. So what, are you mad at insane? I got Popeye? presents, man. You won't let me bring them in. You're the king. If you don't pay attention, you're probably not going to get your point across. Right. Why are you guys mad at insane clown posse? I don't believe any of us have ever met insane clown posse. Okay. We have nothing but respect for Insane Clown Posse. We never met those guys, so I believe when I heard on the radio earlier that you said that we were mad at them. I thought you were. I thought oh, that's why I you came down you here. Heard wrong. I'll tell you well, one thing, you though. Here? Then why I, are you here? I'll tell you one thing, though. This band looks fresh as hell. <laughs> right. They <laughs> look good. That is without they look a doubt. Good. They do now, look that's good. what I'm talking about. That's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a fresh look. No, that's, yeah. see, Howard, Howard. That's the bottom. Nobody wants to see some guy sit on a stool with a, a flannel tied around his waist playing an acoustic guitar. Right. You just you know that's entertainment. That's, that's fresh. Right well, this that's is a regular nice. love fest, isn't it? Can I bring my presents in? 
No. I don't feel... No. What, what's, you are the king. I have nothing but respect for you. Yeah, I don't need a present. I'll get it later. I'll keep it. All right. So I'm not feeling it. like myself. All right, yeah. guys. So Howard. what is the point of you coming down Howard. here today? I want to understand it. Yeah. Howard, this is a totally different thing that I'm hearing now. Really? I heard that they, they hated them and, and they wanted to come down and yell at them. They were all it? upset and everything like that. I, I, this is totally new to me. Really? So, guys, was that just a ruse to get on the air? I don't know who would have started that one. I think it's probably a ploy to get us uh, basically on this show. That's what I think it was. I I say, all right. You know nothing else. We're on in about five hours. I say, well, listen, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Insane Clown Posse was late. That's all right. <laughs> you guys do have a great look. We got thrown off the Family Values Tour, and uh, now it's all out war. Wow. You know, Marty, you're world, you know? Marty, you're on with Insane Clown Posse. You only got a couple more minutes. Hell Go hell. ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I went to ask them to uh, those two guys over there if uh, Vince McMahon really kicked them out of the WWF. No, nah, we could Hey, hey, hey hold on a minute there. Because uh, he said you weren't professional. Well, they're not. I ain't a professional wrestler. I'm a professional. Damn right. I ain't I've seen a wrestler. Them wrestle, you're not wrestle, anything. They're not. They're not professionals. <laughs> you couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a snow shovel, I bet, you know? Yes. Hey, look, I got a 400-pound wife. I'll take you and them. Yes, and your mother enjoys my nuts. Yeah, that was pretty funny there. That was real creative. Your I shaved mother that loves back every night, my nuts. Twice a week. You get this wherever you go, don't you? Only here. Yeah. Only here, really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't, it wouldn't <laughs> make for entertainment if who's screening these calls? calls I, no one. I'm telling you, no one is. All right, there's some more people here. What's now, who are these on? people, Casey? Hey, Howard, this is like the craziest thing, because the whole time, these are the, these are the publicists for this band. Yeah. And they even lied to the publicists. They what, did. What, 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 what did they for, tell for you guys? Slipknot. I don't know if they definitely lied. Cold Chamber was pissed off, angry about the tour. They got thrown off the tour. They supposedly left the tour. They did two dates that worked. They did Pittsburgh and they did Philly. I was at both shows, and after Cold Chamber got off stage, four or 500 kids left. There was a lot of kids that left, so it wasn't just that they weren't drawing any people. I was there. Brother? You're wrong. No. Nah. Yeah, let me tell you No something. way. You look on the website of your site, you had every fucking every fan on your label emailing about how come they're not on the tour. It was a great bill. Let's do this. Well, let me ask Four you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. And you said question. no pyro this, no pyro that. Let me ask you a question. It seems like it was a thing of maybe jealousy or envy more than anything else. <laughs> Don't say something to get you slapped. All right? Well, no, you're Let me say this to you. Too, Let man. me tell you Don't something. Don't get your face busted, money. If it yeah. worked out, and if it was all great and everything was lovely, why would we have thrown them off the tour? That's a good question. That's what they wanted to answer. It didn't really go down in here the way... I think well, the guys have a different point of view than you guys. Were, in if it worked out, I mean, we if everything was so great and lovely, well, and they were drawing four or five hundred people, why would we have thrown them off Money the door? Tell me, from what I understand, it is. You do. And why do you guys threaten the guy with physical okay. violence? Because, because, because that's because what they do. Jealousy, yeah, jealousy. Yeah, jealousy. Yeah, coming in here, why jealousy. Jealousy. I was at both shows. This. Four to five hundred people left after they went off stage both times. See right now what you're doing. What you're doing right now is called lying. No, that's not lying. It's called or maybe exaggerating. Exaggerate. Maybe four or five. Hey, you know Cold Chamber's manager Sharon Osbourne? Yes. She's like a a big heavyweight in the music business. She's like yeah, she's Ozzy Osbourne's uh, very uh, very influential. You know what I mean? And she doesn't like you. And that bitch means nothing to me. Really, you don't care. I slap that bitch. You don't even care. Straight up. All the threatening remarks she said. She said, you guys are going to burn bridges by messing with me. What bridges do we take? What What are they going to do? They're going to cut some of our... She's going to pull some strings and get us yanked off some radio stations? What stations? You're not even on any stations. That's what I'm saying. Oh, she's going to get MTV to turn against us? There's no threatening. We don't have no MTV. There's no threatening you guys. There is none. We have no help anywhere. Right. Nowhere. There's no strings. So what can she do? There's no strings that you... No strings she can do to... There's no strings she can cut that would hurt and say Clown Posse because we don't have any favors. No, everybody hates us already. (laughs) What's she going to do, you know? Right. You make us a business move. What if she took away your makeup? Cold Chamber. (laughs) Cold Chamber. Cold Chamber is the bomb. You know what I mean? Right. They really are. That's why we wanted to tour with them. You like them. It's a ticket issue. You know, it's like... What the hell? Nobody's coming. Right. We had to do what we had to do. Well, I guess he sees this it differently. come out here. Uh, who the hell is this guy? I'm coming out you trying to explain You can pull out of the he's street. He's, he's, he's their publicist. Here. I'm trying to explain what was going on. I'm from the record company. I was at both shows. Well, you don't work for my label, so you can buff I I my don't. pickle, brother. Well, <laughs> right there. And you can tell everybody at your label I said to buff my pickle, too. Because right. <laughs> I don't give a damn. And I'll get up and slap you and knock your headset off because I don't care. And if Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> wants to step up for his wife, I'll grab him and headbutt his heroin addicted face all I want. Because we don't have no friends already. Really? And I'm sick of it. We got thrown off the Family Values Tour. Every bridge we ever started to build gets 
shut down. The minute somebody hears ICP's starting to get over in any way, it's got to stop. You know what I mean? Right. There is a conspiracy against you, you feel? It, it's like this. We're the greatest. Look, 20 years from now, We'll be legends. You'll be like the Beatles 20 years. Straight up. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We're going through the same thing everybody great went through. Right. You're going to be on Behind the Music 20 years. <laughs> we'll probably, yeah. You'll probably, probably own that show. Without, you know, without, without the drug phase, yeah, too. That's, that's, right. That's the whole thing. We probably won't because we're not heroin heads. You know what I'm I don't right, care right. what this guy says. You don't, you don't care saying? what he come says? Here, but, you should, but you okay. should listen to him and maybe he's, he's got a point of view. What's he going to say? Is he going to come in here and admit it? Well, he feels that the... He's got to fight for those guys. And who is this woman? Do you want to say something? <laughs> he just wants to get on TV. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to explain the point of the show. They brought me out here to explain it. That's my side. I was at both shows. He's probably looking for another job like at a label. Look another like job I could do. You with with Sharon Osbourne no. sent you that fax that? out to all the promoters saying that we're mentally incompetent. Right. It's Are you? Like, Maybe slightly, but it, had, <laughs> but it had nothing to do with the business decision we made. Right. All right, you, your point of view is... If they were worth is, tickets, what would be the problem? Is did my you, question. He says you it might have been like jealous of their... Jealous of what? Of what? Had you, did you, you saw both the shows, I right? I saw both the shows. Are you, are you standing here saying that Insane Clown Posse Live is weaker than Cold Chamber? 100%. Now I'm going to slap Cold, him. Cold Why? He says, no he says that he likes the better. Without a doubt. I got no problem with you guys. Without a doubt, works for him. nobody, nobody can handle ICP live in concert. No one. Nobody. No one. I think that was part of the problem. With Cold Chamber, with their pyro, with the show going off, the new record come out. I think there was a lot of competition that night. <laughs> well, listen, it's his point of view. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, right. And, and ma'am, right. do you want to say something? Miss Howard, it was also we yes, were talking I about the Slipknot. Right. They, they was, was, I agree with him. Right. Yes, no, they were I saying agree. the Slipknot was saying that uh, <laughs> that they don't like ICP and they, they dress up and stuff like that. And this is what we're dealing with the whole week. We thought it was going to be like the Jerry Springer show today. Oh, all right. Well, do you want to say anything? Yeah, who is she, she with? Said it all. She, well, I'm sorry. He said it all. So I agree with him. He said, he said it all. Yeah. Yeah. You feel the same way as him? It didn't, you know, I just, you know, it could have gone either way. So. All right. All right. Well, listen, it's but a disagreement. Yeah. All right, listen. What can I tell you? I don't think Slipknot have a problem. I think they like your guys' music. I just think they wanted to be known that they're a real band. They have real songs. They're very serious about their music. So despite... <laughs> that they, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're not. I'm just saying despite that they have these costumes on, they're very serious about their who music. Talk, who are you talking to now? About Slipknot? Yeah, that's Slipknot. We got nothing against... We got nothing against I'm not them. saying that anything against you, necessarily. I just wanted to come in and, pr and like... Make it known that they're a real band. They wear these costumes that are amazing. They got all these what, what crazy things built. Well, they, 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 they like them. them. They said they would tour with them. No problem there. All right. Well, all right. Well, thank you. Get this guy out of here, man. Right, like this, we here. only got a couple minutes on the show. You got to bring this scrub out here to steal our time. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Put my foot in your ass. <laughs> Travis, you're on the air. Right. You're on with Insane Clown Posse. Howard, what's up, man? They have no friends in the business. Yo, ICP, I'm a juggler. What up, Ninja? Yeah. What up? Both we do have friends in the business. Biohazard. Biohazard, who we're touring with right now. No, you no, have Robin. Twisted. You have Robin Quivers and me. No, That's right. right. I, see so, I love you guys. This is very rare. Be on the Howard Stern show and have somebody call up saying that they like us. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm really not, I am not. I got myself a tattoo, you guys. I love you. See? I am not screening these calls. Okay. Right. If someone just calls and they want to talk about you, I throw them on. That's it. Yo, good looking I out, see, I have a question about the tour tonight. I'm gonna be there. It's what is tonight? tonight? What is the show tonight? It's, it's, it's I don't somewhere. know who's don't going. Know it's at. like Twisted going to be there? Yeah, yeah, Twisted no doubt, is no there. Twisted's, Twisted's here with us right oh, now. Yeah. They're going to be there. Uh, and what, where is the show? The show is at Hammerstein. Hammerstein? Hammerstein. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Ballroom. Ballroom. That's, that's going to happen tonight? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yo, man. Yo, there's a bunch of kids that are messing with my little brother. They're all dissing ICP, and now they're going to be there. Yo, I'm throwing Point them out. Shit. Point them so out, I'm and the guys will beat them up. Jokes. All right, Mario, That's you're on That's another lawsuit. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Mario, you, how many lawsuits are now pending against There's you? There's only three now. Yeah, we got, only we three. We whittled down. Yeah. We whittled <laughs> down to three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the three lawsuits? You know, it's, it's the bomb because this tour... We haven't been to jail once on this tour. Right. I punched Not a kid. I punched, we are on an in-store autograph session tour, and I punched a kid. That's one lawsuit. Okay. Yeah. Another suit is a girl a has a, a, a hurt neck because I hit her with a two-liter of Fago. We throw soda Fago all over the crowd. All right. And uh, the other lawsuit is, a, is something that I'd really not like to mention. Wow, that must be a good one. <sighs> Perhaps in private, I'll be happy to tell you. Were you stalking someone? No. Although I am in love with one of the uh, Nitro girls on WCW Nitro. You would like to go out with her. The girl with the, she's married, but the girl with the short hair, shortest hair, and uh, I'd like her to know if she happens to be listening. 
Did I love you? You know, it's funny too, because WCW has us in there as wrestlers. We're wrestlers. I have Howard. never seen well, you we're, so we're, romantic. We were, we, were, we were in WWF before, right, right. and we just would come down to the ring with wrestlers. Right now you're wrestling. Now WCW, they go in and they start throwing they people around and kicking them. We yeah. actually won a, we won a tag team yeah. match against Public Enemy. <laughs> Me and him just you fought team. Public Enemy. No, not, not the, the wrestler, not oh, the, oh, the wrestler. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't. I, that's no, a, I, would, I, I would pay to see that. No, we're we're real 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 cool with the rappers. Chuck D, he's like he's real cool with us. All right. Okay, I got you. Hi, you're on the air. Yeah, I think it's time for these guys to go. They suck, man. <laughs> oh, you see? Here you go. Now, they, now, now we're back. F-I-C-P, in. they suck. They're talentless. Right. They're horrible, Go man. ahead. Give us some more. Go ahead. They brought some Kyle makeup, like, like Kiss, man. You got nothing, man. Hey, hey, hey listen to this. Up. Listen to this. On uh, Monday, on Nitro... Uh, Kiss is going to be there. Oh, yeah? Oh. And we're going to be yeah. there. And it's actually going to be the confrontation us and against Kiss. Kiss? going to meet each other. Uh, will you fight them? I'll slap them in Smears makeup. You don't like Kiss? I don't like him because Psycho Circus, he stole that from us. A lot of those big, huge, multi-million dollar platinum acts, they go to the underground for their flavor. And Gene Simmons probably thought we were ripping them off. But since when do clowns not wear makeup? We're the insane clown posse. All of course right. we got to wear They're makeup. They're supposed to be clowns, right? They're supposed to be like demons and outer space people or something, right? Right. So I understand. You know what I'm saying? Cyril, you're on the I don't understand either. Cyril, you're on the air. Yo, Juggalos Unite. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was at the Cold Chamber show in Philly. That guy's full of it. No one was there for Come Cold on, we Chamber. know that money. We know he's just trying to get on TV. We, you know what I'm saying? Him and his girl with the double cross wrench, Terry Funk cowboy boots on. Yo, well, you guys, you guys continue. You Always guys continue to be controversial. Always. Listen. There is so much going on in your uh, area, your arena. And Howard, people are starting to piss us off. People, that, like now, MTV's going out of their way to screw us, and yeah. they don't want to piss us okay. off because none well, of the juggalos the truth, I don't are like understand soldiers. That. I think you guys have a right to perform. I can't imagine why MTV would pull out of a sponsorship because you're part of a tour. That That is not right. they're scared of us. Andy, you're on the air. Howard, these guys are not friends of the show. <laughs> what do you mean? Up in upstate Rochester, where these punk asses are from, uh, there's a little radio station called WBER. They were calling you a pussy. They were calling you a bitch, and they said that you were their little rat puppet just so they can get their name out. The name I don't out. believe you would uh, say that. You would that. have to produce a You'd tape. You'd have to produce a tape of that. Tape. You know, no, you produce the tape, tape, brother. If you produce a tape, I'll make it. How is this out? If you produce a tape, I'll, 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 I'll sign it. something that says I'll give them $25,000. I'll give them $100,000. I'll sign something. If you can produce the tape, you will give this gentleman $100,000 if he can produce the tape. If he can produce a tape of me dissing you publicly anywhere in the country. I know Joey Justo mouth. I know who you are. I know where you're from. I got the tape. We're from Rochester. And some They're from the, Detroit. And we're on the radio dissing Howard? Yep. W-B-E-R wow, in that, Rochester. It's like, I'll give you $100,000. I don't believe him. Don't See, worry about this it. Guy's taking, this guy's taking a different angle. Yeah, me on the, Howard, he's getting his radio like, station. Instead of people just like calling me on hold and so dissing us. All right, hold on. He's trying to like hit us below the belt and like make you think that we're dissing you. Right. So. Well, <laughs> all right. So so you will give him like a side You will give him $100,000. If anybody anywhere can produce a tape go ahead. my voice dissing you in any way. I would be shocked if that tape existed. Do you think you'd be shocked? <laughs> you'd, be shocked. <laughs> you'd be shocked, too. I, my way would well, uh, I love you guys. I love when you come on here. And uh, I see that there's a lot of controversy out there. Yeah. There's lawsuits. There's you being thrown off tours. Player haters. There are other bands claiming that they were thrown off the tour for because you were jealous. There's other yeah. bands that just show up. Right. <laughs> Next time Bozo's coming in here, he wants to sue you guys. He's Is upset. he dead? I don't know where he is. I'm nah, just kidding. Man, if there's any way you can see the show tonight. Tonight's the big from, night. Anybody from the New York City area, I guarantee you if you like us or hate us, you're going to be entertained. We have three semi-trucks. For a band which it only has two guys in it. It's all <laughs> theatrics and entertainment. What is in it? Pyrotechnics? You know, everything. Everything. An enormous stage, enormous show. We're there with Biohazard and Twisted. It's a great show. Man, it's Fun. like love us or hate us will entertain you. Same thing with our music, you know? Right. You're working hard. We're working hard to entertain people. It's like, sure, I might not actually swing an axe at night. And run around stealing dead bodies. I might not actually do that, even though I rap about it. Right. I might not actually do that. I'm here to be an entertainer. Well, you, know you guys, mean? you guys are ready to get out there on the stage. I can see it. No, yes. I think he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, the Vikings I've been taking have got me slightly touched. Here's a guy from the <laughs> WWF. He says you were fired because you were difficult to work with. Hi. Yes, Darren. Yeah, I was a. Uh, it's Darren. I was a PA for the WWF. What did you do? You carried wires or something? 
How much is what? You carried wires or something? <laughs> What'd you do? How, how, yeah, I did carry wires, yeah, and I have a lot more self-respect yeah. than you guys do. <laughs> they're, they're very mean guys, Howard, and they were very rude, and they got fired because they were belligerent and, and for some sexual harassment. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and people are just mad. This is crazy. crazy. Yeah, they were going after the male wrestlers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty funny. You guys would never do that. Go to work today and tell everybody you got on the radio and dissed us. Yeah, go, go, right. go to your, yeah, somebody feel you doesn't work, but if you do, go carry some wires. We walked out right. of the WWF. I, I got no problem with the WWF. We liked the WWF. Yeah, was, right. but they, cool. they were portrayed us in the wrong way. You guys so wanted to get in the ring and fight. You no, they had us being happy, had friendly like bozo clowns, yeah. right. and we're easily, everybody knows that we're serial killer demented clowns. Right, you're angry clowns. Yes. Right. And WCW is a great place, and we're happy to be there. They let us do whatever we want. Anything and, you want to do. Wrestling and we always about talk about how much ass we can kick. Everybody watches every Monday night on TNT. We kick plenty of ass with, with our homies. We uh, wrestle. Vampiro Those guys could kick your ass at hey, any time, and you know it. Robin, <laughs> what might appear to be fat on my body is it's actually muscle. chiseled muscle. Oh, please. All right. If that guy didn't jump up, you'd never get him I took my shirt off when the camera's out in the green room. Don't make me flip it off like the Hulk. Stick. Don't make me peel out of this shirt, damn it. <laughs> well, you guys are angry, and you have every right to be. And, uh, the thing is, we ain't, we ain't mad. No, you're mad about something. We ain't mad. You're mad about we that lawsuit you won't mention. I don't know what, what it is, but it sounds good. Well, see, well, it, 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 we ain't really mad. It's just like something that, you know, goes with what we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. All right. You guys have been in jail. You know where it's at. Hey, I spent plenty of days in jail. I love it. You I, love jail. Me. No, I don't. Yeah, You've yeah, been that, in jail. No. You haven't? No. He's a damn liar. Don't listen. <laughs> hey, uh, if everybody uh, listening. First week out, we were up there with Ricky Martin. I know. It was you were, the weirdest thing in the world. It was I close. Know. It was, it was, it was, it was, uh. It was Backstreet Boys number one, Britney Spears, Britney Spears number two, <laughs> and Ricky Martin number three, and then who and was Saint Clown Fosse number four. That's I a was, great tour. I was proud. We on a tour with those yeah, we, guys. We were, we were trying to talk to him, see about like. Well, they want to do it, but MTV world. doesn't want them. Hey, yeah. we stayed at the same hotel with In Sync. Oh, really? Yeah, there was yeah. all these fans outside the parking lot when our bus pulled up, and I was like, how'd the word get out? <laughs> what's going on? How'd everybody know we're here? We got on the bus. Nobody comes up to us. I'm like, what's going on, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, we're here for sync, so I'm talking to these girls. I'm like, did you ever hear of Insane Cloud Fosse? They're like, yeah. They, yeah. And I'm like, do you like us? No. You, you don't even want an autograph or nothing? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. You were we're begging, here for NSYNC. You were begging them to sign an autograph. Well, yeah. Right. Trying, like, trying to get skins. <laughs> right. I wanted to, oh, it's so fresh. Because if you look at the the circle of music, we have got to be the complete opposite, opposite right, of them, right, you know? Right. Besides our synchronized dancing, we're really yeah, good we, at Yeah, we're good at dancing. Yeah, Do you guys synchronize like, dance? Sure. sure. I didn't know that. I have to see that <laughs> tonight. Not on stage, just when we're at home. <laughs> oh, Hammerstein Ballroom <laughs> yeah. tonight. Yes. With Biohazard. Yeah, yeah and, and twisted. twisted. Okay, all right. There it is, Insane Clown Posse. Uh, it's right. great seeing you guys. Come back and see us again. Thank no you. Doubt. What's up, boys? What up? So it turned out to be a love fest today. Yeah, what happened? They had security squeezing my ass. I thought everybody hates you. Hey, I thought they were bringing in people that wanted to fight. Now, are you starting to realize that maybe people love you? No, I wouldn't, yeah. Hold on, let me get it. No. Come on, you guys. Hey, you still want us to grab a couple boxes of them Source One Metro Bars? Yeah. No, see, uh... So what happened, man? What, it was like a love fest today. I don't know exactly what the deal was. I, we didn't know those other bands were going to be here. But, um... You know, it's 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 also an intimidation thing. Maybe they did come down to start beef, but once they noticed the uh, chisel physique, they immediately get scared and um, change their story. That's know? washboard right there. That's washboard. washboard. You can on, wash the clothes the on that. No, I can't let me do see. that. Come on, one quick flash. Go ahead, tuck that in. All right, you guys ready? All right, boys, man. Thanks for coming down. Thank you, brother. Take care, guys.